So I've been metal detecting now for uh, roughly about six months. I've just got a new tripod for the phone. So I thought I'd show off a few of my metal detecting bits, like my best finds, etc, etc. So don't expect too much knowledge because I'm a complete novice about history, metal detecting, full stop. So you'll have to bear with me and I'll just show you what I've got and any interesting bits that I think you might want to see. Right, I'll just start off, I've got a few bullets here. These bullets I found were all live, but they've been made safe. And obviously I can put them in my collection. I've got this one here. I've got another one here. I think they're probably World War II sort of age. There's another one there that's stamped on the bottom. Is that focusing on that? There's a bullet casing. Uh, I've got a few interesting bits. I've got an Eiffel Tower, which I found on the beach. It's quite an interesting thing, unusual to find. I also found this. The same day I found the Eiffel Tower, I found this token. It says Las Vegas. Welcome to Las Vegas. What that was doing on the beach, I couldn't tell you. But I found it, so I took it. Right, we've got this coin here, which is a farthing. Hopefully you can see that all right. You probably can't see the date, but I can tell you that that is dated 18... Let's try and get a bit closer. 1888. No, that's a bit too close. But that's a farthing. What other interesting coins have I got? I've got a few more pre-decimals. That was a, an old pound coin I found a while ago. It's not classed as a spendy because it's probably half the thickness it should be. But it's definitely a pound coin. So I kept it anyway. What for interesting coins have I got here? That's not really interesting. That's a, a 50 cents. But it's just weird to find it on the beach. I've also got another little, tiny little bullet there. Wouldn't know what that was. Looks more like a pellet to me than a bullet. But there you have it. Also found this badge. Which says, to save a life, the girls' life brigade. It's quite different. Obviously it's broken, but we still kept it. I've also got numerous different bullets if i can show you some of the bullets if i show you this one first this is probably my favorite find that is quite a big bullet well it's a bullet tip obviously i wouldn't know what bullet that come from but i've got a few subscribers with plenty of knowledge so i'm sure they're enlighten me or enlighten you on what that is whatever it is it was quite big probably my best that's my favourite find, but probably my best find to date is this gold ring. It's 18 karat white gold. It weighs about, I think it's about 11 grams. That was my first and only ring I've ever found. And to be honest, when I found it, I thought it was silver. And I was chuffed when I thought it was silver. So to find out it was gold was a very big bonus. Right, moving on to some of the other stuff. I've got plenty of these. That's probably not a good one to show you because it's a bit dirty. I've got some smaller ones and also some of these larger ones. And they're old police buttons. I should imagine off of a policeman's uniform. And it says on there, Hastings Borough Police. That probably would have been the coat button and these would have probably been the, on the, the cuffs, I should imagine. I've got quite a few, quite a few of those. Actually, I don't, I don't need to get them all out to show you. But you sort of get the drift. I've got plenty of these bullets as well. I like to try and keep... If I move that around, you can see what I'm getting them out from. That's a free ring bullet. I found quite a few of these. Out of the lead bullets, they're probably... I'd say they're probably my favourite. I really like finding those. I've got quite a few of those in there. I've got a few more random 
casings. Sorry about the filming. I'm trying to get used to having the phone on a on a tripod, so I'm not knowing where to aim. Should have cleaned these out a bit. There's another another bullet casing. No lettering or writing on it, so I couldn't tell you when it's from. I've got numerous musket balls, which when I first started detecting, that was that was definitely on my bucket list. I was desperate, absolutely desperate, to find a musket ball. And I do know that musket balls, I think they date back to about 1850, possibly before. I've got some more of these. Quite a few of these, actually. I don't need to show you them more. I can just show you a couple. They're quite big. Got, got a fair bit of weight to them. I wouldn't know what that's called. But Darrington Dave, who's one of my subscribers, is a man of plenty of knowledge. I'm pretty sure he'll enlighten us on what it is. I also found this. Now nobody's been able to tell me what this is. It's got... Is it some sort of pot? I really couldn't tell you, but it's really interesting. I found these two, I don't even know if both of these pieces actually go together, but I found them very close, within inches of each other. So I'm presuming that that, that's actually got some writing on there. I can't quite make it out, but it has, has got some writing on there. I can see an F3911, but I wouldn't have a clue what that is. And whether that top goes on there or not, I couldn't tell you. But it's, that was quite interesting, so that's probably another one of my favourite bits. I've got some World War II bits and bobs. If I just move this, I've just got a few more. If I just show you these, I've got a few more. Nothing exciting, just pre-decimals. That's a 1907 penny. I've got another one here. That's it's a really weird colour, that, to be honest with you. That's 1961. So we've got all the rest of pennies. Right, let's get let's get this around here. Just so I can that's better. Oh. I've got an earring. Found an earring. No value to it whatsoever, but I found it, so I took it. I've got a few of these bigger. That's obviously had a whack on something. See the top of that's pushed right in. But I've got quite a few, quite a few of those. There's a looks like an older one, which I presume is the same, same sort of bullet. Got quite a few of those. I also found this piece. Now, I'm not silly, I don't think that it's gold, but it's shiny, and I don't, I haven't got a metal tester, so I couldn't, couldn't tell you what that's made of. If anyone's got the slightest clue, I'd be delighted to find out what that is, or possibly what, what sort of metal that's made from. So if you can tell me, I'll be very, very grateful of that. All right, moving on, I think that's about it for that. That little box. I'll just bring this one forward. See, these bullets aren't aren't as old as the others. I should imagine these are World War II, around that sort of era. Got loads of them. I've got these bullets, which I think is a nine nine mil bullet tip. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Some of those. Some more lead bullet tips. Once again, they're very old. Quite quite a few of those. All the all the same. What else we got? We got these here. Now I know these are these are not very old at all. These are just 303 bullet tips. But I seem to seem to find quite a few of those, and I enjoy finding those. This section here, these are just various various bullets that are quite mangled. Obviously hit things and whatnot. That was a musket ball once. 
but it doesn't really resemble a musket ball now. If I just get a musket ball out and show you that that's a musket ball and that's obviously used to be a musket ball. So that was in there. I've got loads of different different types of bullets that have obviously taken a, a good whack and hit hit whatever they've hit. This part here is just various bits of shrapnel I found. That one you can see it's got numbers, measurements or whatever they are. I've never ever found any shrapnel with writing on it. I'd love to, I'd love to do so. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before I do. There's some more shrapnel. I've got enough to open a shrapnel shop, I think. Some more. All different shapes and sizes. Big bits, little bits. There's some more there. Another piece of shrapnel. But that's the beauty of metal detecting. Everything you find's got a story behind it. I've also got this, which I wouldn't have a clue what it is. It's almost like a bell. I don't know if it's old or what it come from, but if anyone knows, please do tell me. Just for my own peace of mind, so I know what it is. This, I think, was an old button. There's no markings on it whatsoever. But, as you can see, that was definitely a button at some point in time. This is obviously a button as well. As you can see the two two holes in it and a stone that's down to my bad cleaning and that's I think that's made of lead so it's an old old lead button wouldn't have a clue on age or anything like that so I think I think that's about it. oh this this coin here believe it or not was a 50p I know you can't see that that's a 50p but just by the shape of it I'm going to say that's a 50p. You can see how thin, how thinly worn that is. But that was, once upon a time, a spendable 50 pence piece. Well, I think that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I certainly enjoyed making it. It's just nice to share this hobby. And like I say, I've, I've only been detecting about six months. So it's still, still early days. Got plenty to learn. Plenty more things out there for me to find. Obviously my knowledge of metal detecting will improve over time. Finding different items and knowing what they are. That, I think that's half the battle to be honest with you. So I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video. And uh, possibly subscribe if, if you could do so. And I hope to catch you on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Take care everyone.